Hi there, this video is on technology uh, and it's the final section, uh, the final part of this uh, section here, 3.4.3, um, increasing efficiency and productivity. So uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about production technology, which is the use of tools, machineries and electronics to enable industry. Uh, very different types of technology that may be used in production, from the design of products to producing them with robotics to managing inventory and stock uh, and communication with various stakeholders. So uh, just to go through a couple of those different types of technology, robotics is the program of machines to pr perform repetitive tasks on a production line. Jobs that may have been done uh, by humans in the past are often able to be um, automated and machines can do them. Uh, robotics are getting more and more advanced and performing more and more complex tasks. Um, manufacture of cars is a good example. Uh, often robots, robots are used in kind of sorting tasks when uh, stuff needs to be arranged into objects of different weights or sizes. Um, packaging and labelling goods, uh, all can be done by robotics. Uh, so very similar to capital intensive pros and cons, uh, the products are standardised, made consistently in the same specification, we've got a higher output which can lead to economies of scale. Robotics can be used in dangerous conditions, uh, maybe high or low temperatures um, that humans wouldn't be able to safely access. Um, Robotics can considerably increase your capacity. If you install robotics, you'll be uh, potentially able to produce a lot more goods through a mass production system, which can dramatically increase an organization's capacity. Um, uh, it's useful for mass production and mass customization. On the other hand, uh, robotics are uh, high cost to set up. Uh, we talked about how they can lack innovation, um, that, you know, they don't come up with ideas yet, um, and they can lack flexibility, they need to be reprogrammed and changed around if you want to change the production line. Um, uh, we, use, uh, we can use technology to control our stock, manage our inventory levels, um, uh, would be a good uh, use of uh, of technology, uh, you know, supermarkets have very advanced um, stock management systems that you, that where barcodes are read, uh, the uh, computer in the store will know how many tins of baked beans they've got. When they get to a certain level of baked beans, they'll send an automatic email to the uh, supplier and they'll get restocked and no humans need to get involved in that process. Um, so it's very efficient and should make sure the businesses um, manage their stock uh, pretty well. Um, communication technology, um, you know, massive advances in communication technology uh, for, as a result of the internet, mobiles, etc. Um, can be used to improve both internal communication within a business, so uh, order, the, order, the processing of an order, um, you often see waiters with like electronic things now that send the order through to the kitchen, they don't even need to go there. Um, data can be collected uh, and, uh, and statistics analysed. Um, you know, we can see how many faulty goods we're producing or, or whatever. Um, and of course, we'll be able to communicate better with our suppliers and our customers. Um, CAD, CAM computer-aided design, uh, designing things on computers, you're able to manipulate the design a lot better, look at it from all different angles, um, so uh, they can be very useful in the uh, process of designing, uh, certainly advances from the old hand uh, drawings, um, and computer-aided manufacturer of robotics we've already talked about. So, uh, overall, what are the pros of using technology? Well, we should get lower unit costs um, because we can produce uh, much more. We can buy product with buy materials in bulk. Uh, we should be able to increase capacity, uh, increase productivity. If we've got 
you know, labour productivity should rise if we've got fewer workers and more machinery. Um, consistency of product uh, should improve, uh, excuse me, which can be a measure of quality. Uh, we'd be better able to match supply to demand, better able to meet customer needs, and we're going to have improved management data analysis tools, uh, which will enable us to uh, review the information we're getting about um, production and improve it. Uh, the cons of technology, high setup costs, maintenance costs, we're going to need to train our workers, maybe if we uh, make a proportion of our workforce redundant, uh, that can have a negative impact on motivation, um, and they, we need to manage well, the pace of change in technology is uh, rapid and often uh, technology is soon outdated and needs replacement. So the appropriateness of whether technology is uh, suitable for a business and what technology is suitable for a business will depend on the corporate objectives. Is the business after rapid growth or are they trying to improve customer satisfaction? Um, are they trying to minimise costs, etc.? All of these corporate objectives may have an impact on uh, the business's use of technology, uh, as will the finance and budget available. The business's brand image will be important. Okay, some businesses, um, you know, uh, rely on human interaction, and that's their kind of unique selling point. You're not dealing with a machine; you, you get to deal with somebody in person, uh, which can be um, very appealing. Uh, what are the customer needs? Does the customer need low price consistent uh, products or do they need a product tailored to their individual requirements? Um, what are competitors up to that will have an impact and the skills of the workforce and the training that will be required for the workforce to uh, use the technology. So uh, that's uh, that section over and done with.